Welcome all back to another episode on the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie and today I got a very special place for you. I'm in the state of Tennessee today and we have this enormous mansion behind us of a corrupt woman who wanted to become mayor. Built in 2003, abandoned in 2015, a 3.2 million dollar mansion completely left behind. It's a surreal sight standing here and looking at this place. We're gonna go closer, we're gonna look at it and uh, we're gonna document it in its full glory. Let's waste no more time, let's head over to this abandoned mansion. What a place and what a sight. In the rolling landscapes of rural Tennessee stands a grand yet forsaken 700 square meter mansion. With its opulent spiral design, the staircase in this colossal five-bedroom mansion becomes a striking focal point. The neoclassical architecture throughout the property adds onto an air of timeless elegance, while the master bedroom boasts a mesmerizing blue iridescent ceiling, completing the luxurious ambience. Constructed in the early 2000s, this mansion was the pride of a beloved local couple, a rising politician and her wealthy real estate husband. However, their idyllic life started to unravel in 2014. Divorce papers flew, bitter acquisitions echoed throughout the mansion's opulent halls, and by 2015, the husband was gone. His life cut short under mysterious circumstances. What could have happened to him? The mansion's trails were far from over. The wife, now alone, decided to tread the politician path. But as she reached for power, a massive amount of debt emerged. Over half a million dollars in back taxes loomed over the mansion. A ticking time bomb set off by her late ex-husband, or so she claimed. The mansion, once a symbol of wealth and unity, fell into disrepair. Its abandonment in 2015 marked the beginning of years of lawsuits, bankruptcy and people claiming ownership of the property. Now the mansion just sits there, decaying with every passing day, holding its secrets. It tells the story of lost love, shattered dreams and a family that was once important. It's not just a relic, but a chronicle of the rise and fall of a once powerful family. It's quite a special feeling walking towards this mansion, seeing it from the distance across the fields and getting closer towards it. And just even the story behind it just makes it that more magical. <sighs> I've actually never seen such a large property completely abandoned in such an immaculate state actually, because this place could definitely just be renovated or even just be lifted right again. Wow. Over here to the right, we have the horse stables. The people that lived here, and especially the woman and her daughters, they were very into horse riding, horse riding competitions, and I went all around the United States just to practice this noble sport. Let us just have a look at those first before we go into the mansion here to the right, uh, to the left of us. These are actually pretty big horse stables, as you can see. Here you would drive in with your horse car, drop off your horses, treat them, feed them. What a special place. One, two, three, four, five, six cages to contain horses inside. Oh, 
And they had some sort of a building here to the right. Oh, this is like a guest house. When guests came over, they could reside in this part of the building. Some sort of a bar here to the right, to the left of us. I'm mixing up right and left a lot today, as you have noticed. There are a few artifacts still left here on this bar side. Even some pills also still left here. We got the first memories of the family left here. Oh, this was the woman and her husband together with one of their daughters holding them in the hands. And here we can see the daughter riding a horse. Wow. And this was the woman who wanted to become mayor, but eventually she blamed her husband who passed away for creating all the debt and the house was sold underneath her. It now belongs to the bank. One of her daughters, I don't know what happened to the daughters or what happened to the woman herself, but it's quite an interesting story to my opinion. So they have the kitchen over here. It's like this bottle that's behind. I think there's honey inside of there. No, it's not very viscous, so it's definitely not honey. I'm not gonna smell this liquid that's inside of here. It seems very dirty. Some fake garlic and some other things. It's actually a pretty nice guest house. Here we have like a lounging area built in 2003 left behind in 2015. Only 12 years these people have lived in this place and have enjoyed it and now it's been left to rot forever. The place is already falling apart as you can see after only a very short amount of time to my opinion. One of the colors for the horses and I think this would be a, yeah this would be a guest bedroom you can see the frame of the bed Still standing there in the corner. Ventilator at the top. Just a very ordinary guest house, but very lovely. The people had even a porch outside where they could sit, drink some coffee in the morning, watch the horses outside. The fields for the horses are still here. Wow. They literally had to leave everything behind when the scandal got through of the woman going $500,000 in debt. Wonderful outside, actually. And then the horse staples themselves again. Not very special, not very interesting to look at. Everybody knows how a horse staple looks like. But here you can see every single horse had its own little field where they could play in, all fenced off. Wow. Now completely abandoned. And then we have the house right in front of us over there, glooming in the distance, waiting to be explored. What a wonderful place. I'm actually wondering what this area is. We have like these pillars over here, like an arch form going into this field. Maybe this was an outside sitting area or something like that, but I'm not sure what they would what the purpose of this area would be. I think definitely some sort of an outside sitting area, maybe to be close, close to the horses or to host the horse racing event or something like that. And let me get your opinion. What do you think about this waste of money, precious valuables? I mean, it's especially it's not only the mansion, you gotta imagine this entire property. Yeah, exactly. Which is acres in size. It's unbelievable. And then just to imagine that one day there were horses running around there on the Everywhere. ranch. Everywhere. I see there were six horse stables inside. There's a guest house. There are these fields out there. You can see the driveway all the way going up there. Like this whole area. Only imagining it's it was once abandoned. just filled and bursting with life. Yeah, and now, and now it's just desolate. Sound Let's of silence and the crickets. I can't get over it. Let's explore this wonderful mansion. Let's see what's left behind in there. Have fun exploring the horse houses, man. You too, man. See you in a bit. Enjoy it. Thank you. <sighs> like I just told you, everything here, the whole driveway, the fields around it, all these things are abandoned right now. Now let's go in through the back gate over there. I see it's open. Now let's see 
what we can find inside of the mansion itself. We got four garage gates attached to the house. So these people, they had lots of cars. And like I told you, they went into great depth to acquire this place and to live in here. She wanted to become mayor of the town. And luckily that didn't happen because she was very corrupt. She didn't deserve to become mayor of such a nice town. Wow, what an entrance gate into the house. Have a look at this. Here we come into the wonderful overgrown backyard. This one's immaculate mansion. The backside is just wonderful. Have a look at those pillars presenting themselves. Wow, I've never seen anything like this in my life. And then we have the pool area over here, the green pool. I'm just speechless seeing this, just utterly speechless. The diving board, the children, the two daughters would play here, jump into the pool, enjoy themselves in this lovely backyard. And at this patio over here with these columns, we could sit outside, have dinner, the family would be here together, the mother, the father, the two daughters. Unfortunately, the father passed away at a very early age in life. And then the scandal came out. And over here we start to have some sort of a cage, presumably for chickens or other types of animals. I hope there are no animals left in there. As you can see, sort of a chicken cage left here in the back of the house. Wow. I'm somebody who hates graffiti a lot. And we see this sign over here that says property is robbery. And they're actually right in some sense of way. I don't approve them writing graffiti on the wall of this mansion at all, but property is indeed robbery in most cases because mortgages kill people. They're a very big burden for a lot of people to even pay off. Some sort of an outside toilet here. You can see some art pieces on the wall inside of this toilet. And there's even a shower. Wow. It's just crazy. And I think this would be some sort of an outside bar that I could mix up some drinks, have a good time. And then the door is just wide open and it's gonna lead us into this property. I'm so excited to go inside and see how it looks like because I'm normally used to properties in Europe, abandoned mansions in Europe, and they are very different from the grand luxury estates that we see in the United States. And the first thing I see in front of my eyes here is just so beautiful marble everywhere pillars everywhere i'm wondering if they are they seem to be made of wood they are not made of, of marble you can hear it but wow what a sight to behold unbelievable such a grand living space two couches in the middle where the family would reside where the family would be in the evening and what's really interesting is that there's still a Christmas tree standing here in the living area. So most likely this place got abandoned around Christmas time 2015. And that's actually very sad to realize and to think about. All the Christmas decoration is still hanging on the walls. Don't think the electricity will work anymore. No, as you can see that has been completely shut off. Even the box for the Christmas lights and the Christmas tree is still in the corner of the room here. An enormous mirror above the Christmas tree there. Wow. I've never stepped in such a luxurious mansion before. What kind of presents did they get for Christmas? I'm very curious now. A picture frame, my little pony. 
We have this deer standing here. Oh, and behind it is the fireplace, actually. Oh, but it seems to be a gas fireplace at the back there. Okay. And even still some ornaments on top of the fireplace over there. Oh. I love this side of the building, this side of the room. Again, again, curious. No, these are also not marble. I thought everything in here was marble, but it's not. Then it would be way more expensive than $3.2 million. In the Nutcracker, the music, the Christmas music is still left here. So it would be playing Christmas music with the Christmas tree over here in the living room. It would have just been fascinating. Wow. Then the walkway underneath here, leading to the front door. This looks more than a, like a Cinderella mansion than a luxurious mansion, actually. Wow. And from the front door, you could look all the way over the driveway that went to the front road. And over here, we even have pillars. I'm gonna show you the front of the house later on. But wow, there are some things that I don't get in life. And this woman, she was very fraudulent, of course, and she concealed a lot of debt on the name of her husband. And after his passing, she tried to blame it on him. But when the bank took over this place, I don't understand why they just didn't sell it, why they left it to rot like this. It's such a valuable place and somebody could have enjoyed it in any single way. Even if you make something else from it, like maybe a museum or like a homeless shelter or whatever the case is, this place deserves more than being abandoned. This is not a place that is unlivable. This is just greed, in my opinion. I don't know why they don't do anything with it. Here above us, we can even see gold plating on the lampposts and all around it on the ceiling. And it's even here on the front. It must have taken craftsmen to make a place like this. Let's go through it now and let's see what we can find. It's the first door. A little storage area with a lot of light switches. Wow, these are literally like four, seven, nine light switches here on the wall. Maybe to turn off and turn on everything inside of the house instantly when you left it. Wow. And then here in front of us, we have this display. And over here, you would display like a nice statue or a piece of art or something else like that. But it's just a wonderful sight to behold. I would have wished that there was still something in there to look at. A <laughs> silver bathroom. These people that literally loved luxury, as you can see. Even their products are still left behind over here. Proc Professional Oil Sheen Spray. Soap dispenser still there. I'm quite surprised how such a mansion that's so innocuous from the road is still in such a nice condition, except for the graffiti that we saw everywhere. Here we got another room. Wow. Wow. I think maybe some homeless people have slept in here at some point. It's quite overthrown. I'm quite cautious because I don't want to run into a homeless person while I'm exploring an abandoned place. But you can see, this used to be some sort of a heaven bed above there. The piece would be attached up there and the drape and the rope and the curtain would be hanging over the bed, making it into some sort of a heaven bed like we see in the European Union a lot. There's also some wonderful furniture over here. Look at this side table. I don't think this is an original piece of antique. It's definitely a very nice replica. Upholstery chairs in the corners of the room. Wonderful pieces. With a tail pillow on top. And we can definitely see here in the corner of the room that the decay in this place is happening. If they don't resolve this very soon, it will become a major problem and this house will not be livable anymore. I hope this doesn't happen and I hope they find a purpose for a place like this in the future. 
Also a lot of papers on the floor. Very interesting. Every single room, of course, had their own bathroom. It's very common for such luxury homes. A wonderful bathroom, actually. Beautifully designed. Of course, they have again been some vandals in here that found the need to ride on these mirrors. DW, DDP Urbex, this is not right. You shouldn't ride on the walls or on the mirrors of these places. And even a walk-in cabinet, walk-in drawer over here to the side. Wow, with still some clothes the former inhabitants left behind. I think these rooms that we are walking into were the rooms of the two children, of the two daughters that lived with them in this place. Yeah, you can see there's even some underwear and a bra left behind here in the corner and some clothes of them. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting. Then from this beautiful heaven bed, we're gonna wander straight back into the hallway. I've just noticed something in the corner of my eye. The room here in front of me used to be the master bedroom of this place. And you're not gonna believe what I'm gonna show you right now. Take it in, form your opinion about it. But in my personal opinion, this is one of the most obnoxious bedrooms that I've ever seen. Obnoxious slash most luxurious ones I've ever seen. <laughs> a completely blue bed, still made, a blue sidewall, and then a European crest of armor right above this master bed. And even the ceiling is in like this rainbow colored blue with yellow ish lighting and painting <laughs> i can't get over it how obnoxious that this bedroom looks i think personally that is not stylish it's not historical in my opinion it's just a displayment of luxury and wealth that went out of hand but anyway everybody can form his own opinion maybe somebody really likes it we got these angels here on top of these pillars on the side of the bed. They have some beautiful carving in there. I'm wondering if they were hand carved or made with a plaster mold or something like that. And I also love the crest of armor that they have above the bed over there. That's actually a pretty nice addition to this bed. Wow. But the ceiling is just next level. When you shine a light on it, it displays a rainbow all across it. <laughs> and then the silver walls and everything. And they even had a fireplace inside of this room next to these silver walls. And then you have this fireplace. The, the graffiti above this fireplace is exactly right. <laughs> Rich <laughs> That was what this woman was. I'm sorry I'm gonna be a bit rude, but she was a rich towards her husband that passed away, the debt she made and that she tried to conceal on his name. <coughs> There's still some wood left behind in the fireplace. And I think above here would be the television. Of course, now in these days, this hole wouldn't be big enough for the flat screens that we have in our homes now. I actually never watch television, but uh, well, when you have a flat screen TV, it doesn't fit in there. And then straight from this room, you could walk into your backyard, overlook your pool area, look at the horses in the back of the house. Wow. And go into the pool over there. Fascinating. And I think they, of course, there was also a bathroom attached to this room. So let's have a look in that one as well. Of course, they had, need to have a bubble bath, a shower, and I think I see a walk-in closet right over there. Wow, let's start at the beginning. All her clothing and everything is still left in this bathroom. You can see all her shoes are still nicely stacked over there. She bought them in the shop for $50, it says on them. 
all her cleaning products and everything is still left in here. She was literally forced out of her house when they found out what she did. And they immediately took her out. They concealed the house and she was not allowed to come in here to retrieve her items or anything. Because of course, everything was bought with debt. I'm saying this wrong. Actually, everything was bought with a fraud scandal, actually. The hiss and hers, lovable, we would call it in Dutch. The sink, wow. the jewelry boxes. The jewelry of course, have been stolen. And people have already written graffiti all over it. And here, over here, we have the first walk-in closet. So they, she had two walk-in closets in her master bedroom with all her clothing still left in here as you can see this is just insane i'm speechless about it the handcrafted belts still here mom thanks for everything it says on this card thank you for everything I love you very much, dear Scarlett. Scarlett was most likely her daughter. I hope she still takes care of her children after everything that happened. Maybe she went to prison, that's also a possibility. And I hope the children are well. A crystalline chandelier in the bathroom of this place. Insane, and then we have the bathtub. The lookout over the backyard. Wow. Even the bot soaps are still left here to the side. The candle is still on there. This must have been wonderful actually to lay in here, overlook the grasslands behind the household. And I think this would be the faucet where the water would flow out of. Wow. A brass faucet. All her products to clean herself are also still over there. I've never seen such an immaculate bathroom before. I actually really like the bathroom, but I don't like the bedroom. <laughs> and then we have this enormous Cinderella dress laying here on the floor. <laughs> wow! <laughs> to go to a prom or some sort of event with. Toilet, of course, also here, and also a shower in here. With all the cleaning products left in the corner. This is literally insane. Now we have another walk in dresser to this side to store all her clothes. And it seems like the only clothes that we see in here were her clothes. She, she needed both closets to store all of her clothes that she bought. The fraudulent, lot, the fraudulent money. So many shoes left in here. There are probably some subscribers that also have this amount of shoes. <laughs> I'm not gonna judge anybody on the amount of shoes that they have. And even more clothing to this side. <laughs> See if there's anything in here. Her glasses are still in here. I was thinking maybe like I can find some memories or some pictures of the family but those have seemed to be taken all out except for the one picture we saw in the horse stable in the guest room. We still have a lot to cover in this home. This is a grand estate and it has many rooms. We're now back in the living space itself, the main room and I just can't stop looking at it and I just imagine myself when the people were still sitting here enjoying this place for all it had to offer. Let's head over now to the other side and let's see what we can find over there. Wow. I'm wondering what this room used to be. Maybe it used to be a dining area. Back in the day, you can see the marble floors down below. I imagine that there was a huge dining table here in the middle of the space. And up there, a grand chandelier would be hanging from that gold plated ceiling overlooking the room into the backyard where the pool used to be. Oh, 
they were also very literatured. As you can see, oh, there's also a lot of books of horses left behind. This was most likely a horse riding magazine. As you can see, the bareback horseman. <laughs> a book dedicated all to horse riding. Lots of novels, books, magazines, all of that laying still on the ground. And I think over here we come into the bureau area. She was of course running as mayor or running to become mayor of the town and she needed a place to conduct all our work. I love these sliding doors that we have over here that can open up and reveal and close off this space when she needed the privacy. What a space do we have over here. And then you immediately feel that you come into a bureau area because the walls are painted brown and that just gives a sense of a bureau area. A grand desk would be here in the middle of the room and then she could overlook the streetscape in the back over there. And there's even some sort of a kitchen area or bar area made into this bureau area. With an ice dispenser, a fridge, cocktail shakers, bottles of water, balls of wine that you could put up here. This is just too much in my opinion. <laughs> a marble top we have above here. Wow. Cowboy boys and Indians, July 2011. Another wonderful magazine. Oh, and we have a family picture lying here. This is the woman together with one of our daughters that you see over here. What a room again, and what a place. And then we come into the kitchen area, the kitchen space of this estate. First, let's look at this room that we have to the left here. I think this was some sort of laundry area slash preparation area slash storage area. You even have this sink over here to wash your hands when you came into the house. Store the food that you bought in the store. That will be all done in this space. And even there is an ironing board that you could fold out and iron your laundry on. It's actually pretty nifty because you can just put it back. It's always in the same place. You can close up this cabinet and it will be concealed into the wall. Very nifty. Very nifty. And all the electricity switches for the household are also still in here. And that's actually a pretty funny thing because we've now been in the United States exploring. I think we have already seen like 10 places in the United States, but none of them have running electricity. Like literally in half of the places in the European Union that we explore, all of them still have electricity because we have the law that everybody who can pay for electricity needs to have a minimum amount. And that's the difference between the continents and the countries. And that's very interesting to think about. I still see the hustle and bustle in the kitchen. Everything's still left in here. But back in the time, people would be cooking here, preparing nice meals for the family. It would just be a very active and lovely space. And it's also a very beautiful kitchen area to my opinion with a grand window overlooking the garden again there's lots of natural light that comes into this place more beautiful plates and artifacts left up here the cabinets have all been emptied out as you can see and then even this cooking island here in the middle to prepare food on Cook some nice meals for the family on here. A bottle of oil of oil still standing there. All the glassware is also still in the cabinets. Two ovens, two ovens, oh my God. <sighs> Ooh, there's a bottle of liquor imported from Seems so, like some sort of a, a wine, maybe from Italy or France. The 
plates and glasses are still in here. We have a plant standing up there, most likely just for decoration, a plastic plant. And when you look at the ceiling, the same rainbow painting comes back on the ceiling of the kitchen as well. And I think in here would be the fridge. There's also actually a very funny piece of, uh, of graffiti here on the wall. Grocery layer lists and then it says on the near there, beer. That's the only thing you have to get from the grocery, <laughs> from the shop. I first thought that these mandarins or these, uh, uh, these uh, oranges, but, but of course they're all fake as you can see. After six years of abandonment, they wouldn't be real anymore. And there's even some Christmas decoration here in the kitchen as well. I quite love it. Still standing on the countertop. <sighs> Wonderful. I adore this kitchen. Here we have like a side entrance through the house. You can see there are even more pillars on this side of the household. And this doesn't seem to open anymore. A stairway that leads us to the top. But first, more well, we're gonna take the no, we're gonna take the stairway in the entrance hall. This one we're gonna leave as it is. Ah, and I think we come into the, the pool area over here. The pool bar, as you can see. Yeah. Still some bottles of liquor left behind. Can Canada dry as well here. Could mix up some drinks when guests came. You could treat them to a nice cocktail while they were enjoying your pool. Computer still left here. We are in the pool, it says on this sign. This one doesn't want to open anymore. Okay. I saw another door up here. Just let's see. Okay, I still need to open it up. Ah, and this leads us into the garage of the place with four garage doors for multiple cars. They were with four people in the family, the mother, the father, and the two daughters. Maybe either one of them had a car or maybe they also had some sports cars, which is very likely. Unfortunately, the cars are not left behind, but as you can see, this was an enormous garage area. Most people, their houses are as big as this garage area. They only used it to store their cars inside. Some pictures of some painting of Santa Claus still lying on the ground here. At the back of the garage, we have some sort of a storage area. Maybe to store some tools to work on the pool. You can see that also the electricity cabinets are over here. The sockets for the household. What a garage area, everybody. This is totally insane. And of course, we are in the United States. And what would you expect? There are flags of America still lying on the floor. But I learned from some fans that it's not, that it's very disrespectful to leave them on the ground. So let's put them over here. Let's let's play them nicely. And uh, yeah, let's show some respect to this wonderful country. It's now time to show you the upper floors of this grand estate. But before I do that, let's, let's see if the door is open. Let's see if I can show you the front of the house and what the view up there is. Whoa. The door has been completely broken, the glass inside of there. And now we enter outside of the property with the enormous driveway here in the front. Then I can give you a glimpse of this grand estate. Look at that. That's just immaculate. $3.2 million just gone to the scraps and just gone to waste. Insane. Totally insane. And from up here, you can already see the Christmas tree at the end of the hallway in the living area. Must have been wonderful wandering into this house from the outside. 
seeing these stairways that we're now gonna wander up there. And they even have a skylight up there. Let's, let's take a stroll up the stairway to the top floor of this place. Wow, gold plated hand drilling. And we'll come to this upper patio that leads us to two different directions inside of these upper floors. And from up here, you can look down over the estate itself, over the living area. <laughs> wow. And then in here would be more statues, awards. They probably won another grand valuable art pieces. Let's first go to this side. Let's see what's behind this door over here. Okay. I think this was maybe another bedroom of the children or a playing room. You can see that there are a lot of clothes, a lot of junk inside of this room and a lot of clothes. Liver gallbladder, anatomy of the body. Probably from their school time, from their biology classes. Look at this obnoxious purse that we have lying here on the ground. And next to it are a lot of pills as well. Okay. We need a poo. A lot of toys. And I think this indeed used to be some sort of a bedroom back in the time before it got completely overthrown. Maybe when the children were smaller. We have another bathroom up here. An enormous bath at the end. The perfumes, the shampoos, everything still lying here. Just insane. I think this is an enormous walk-in closet. I can't even, I don't even know where to look at. So much clothing, so much waste on the floor. They use this as an extra storage unit to store clothes and toys of the children. You can see the roof of the house and how it's constructed over here. Just speechless by seeing this. Okay. And now we have one more section to cover in this enormous place. But again, a lot more papers lying here on the floor. I love the view that you get up here. Here we have another bedroom, a big mattress just on its side. Not very interesting. There's a cocktail glass standing here for some sort of weird reason. And then this room also had its own balcony. Can we open this up? It seems a bit stuck. But here we can go again outside and overlook the big property that they themselves had. Must have been nice sitting outside of here maybe doing some homework or some other things. Again, this room had its own bathroom as well. This might have been the two rooms, one from one child and one from the other child up here. They even have two sinks in this room as well. Wow. Oh, that's dirty. That's really dirty. Not gonna look at the toilet at all. And then we come to another hallway that leads us back down. And in here would have been another chandelier. 
pain and being displayed. Ah. Ooh, it's actually a very nice carpet. It seems like American places have carpet literally everywhere. That's something we don't do over in the European Union. We just have bare floors in most places. But again, to elaborate on this place, I'm now walking through it. These people had so much money and they decided to spend it all on building this extravagant estate. And I'm just thinking to myself, why spend it on such a luxurious building when you can do other things with it? This is just to show that you have money. I don't know, it's just my personal opinion, but I actually loved exploring a place like this. Love seeing how people lived. Love seeing rooms like this. It was just fascinating to go, to go through a place like these. <sighs> I sit down for a moment on this bed in this very luxurious but also very obnoxious room in this house. I'm just gonna say I really loved actually exploring this place. Such a place I've never seen before. It's very unlike places in Italy and in France and yeah, it's just something else. And as well with that story that is attached to it. Wow. And I wanna thank you all for watching this week's video. If you like this place, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel and write a nice comment down below. We're now heading over to a fan here in Tennessee. Tricia, if you're watching right now, thank you very much for hosting us in the United States and thank you very much for everybody who's hosting us in the United States because this makes this traveling possible. Because the United States is very expensive. And if you want to help me out with traveling around the world, there's also a link in the description to Patreon. There you can support the channel and help us out traveling around the world. I want to thank you very much and I will see you all in another episode next week. Bye-bye. I love you so much. Thank <laughs> you.